are your feelings just going into this beforehand? You know, I think we often forget that Pride came out of resistance to police oppression um, and now it's just become about buying stuff and corporate sponsorship and, um, you know, it's for me part of the capitalist resistance and resistance to increased policing for communities of color, which overwhelmingly impacts uh, black and brown folks in our communities. Gotcha. What do you think in terms of the general political landscape because of what's happened over the past year, both with Trump and Sanders, kind of pushing the margins further away from the center, it seems. Yeah, I think we're definitely in an extreme time, but I think a lot of it is coming from a, a different response to the same emotion of fear. I think yeah. so many of us are experiencing tremendous fear at the state of the world right now. Um, and it's part of my work and service to the world to try to bring people together in love. So I'm looking forward to standing up in resistance with love. Gotcha, thanks. What kind of has inspired you guys to go and uh, do what you've been talking about? Well, um, PRISM, Providence Youth Student Movement, have been, we've been founded on these kind of principles and what we want to do in terms of community service and providing services as well. So like we really want to focus on like marginalized and people who are you know oppressed at a larger rate than other people, especially in terms of class, gender, um, sexuality, um, and, and we're just skin color and race. Um, so like the CSA, um, Community Safety Act, is something that we want to push because it's uh, it's it's more than just you know feeling unsafe in a place where police is overpowered, but it's also finding community and helping and finding services to better the community as well. So what are your reactions and feelings uh, about Orlando? So Orlando was, it was kind of hard because I'm still dissecting it right now. I've been taking a lot of personal care, but the thing I wanted to reflect on the most is that, you know, it, it could happen to anybody. It's, um, you know, it was in a place where they thought they could be safe somewhere where they could be. Um, so we wanted to uh, just reinforce that Community Safety Act is something that we as communities hold accountable, not just the police, and we shouldn't make them um, have all the power in that. So, what are you hoping to articulate in this action? Well, in, in our action, and our speech, we have a couple of demands that we were looking for, for Rhode Island Pride to uphold, as, um, as they are saying that they want to support the CSA in their statement. Gotcha. Any other points you would want to make before going into this? Um, no, not yet. <laughs> okay, thanks. How do you guys feel after that? I got I wasn't saying I was just asking as your individuals even. Thank you very much. So how do you feel after the action? Um, I'm happy to ask you about I think it's really about the safety of people. Gotcha. Thanks. My body is... I'm not that old. 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 I'm not that